In this video, I'll show you some of the best bits of our sailboat life here in Alaska. We'll be catching and canning some salmon and halibut. And let's not forget the berries, nagoon berries, vodka, and running into bears. Oh shit, oh shit, that's a bear right there. You are joining us in Resurrection Bay, Alaska, where we wake up in a misty anchorage. The next few days we'll be exploring the area and most importantly catching, gathering, preserving and canning our own fish and berries in preparation for the winter to come. Lagoon is waiting. That's a bear track right there. Bear has uh, crossed the river or the lake here. It's so shallow that uh, the dinghy doesn't really offer us much protection because the bears could just easily walk up to us. I think they're not that interested about us, hopefully. bear poop that's a big poop as well he's been eating uh, grass you see I mean that's normal here there's bear poop all around the place there's a lot of these dead trees around here in this area and most of them are because of the earthquake in 1964 I think it was the big Alaska earthquake which uh, caused the ground basically to go down in many places and then these trees ended up in spots where their roots are now underwater or where the <coughs> water washed away all the soil so then they all just basically died. That's why we are left with all of these tree stumps here. Really beautiful though with the green water, the green lake. It is. I'm just looking out for the bear. <laughs> Definitely, if I was a bear, this is exactly the kind of place where I would hang out. Nice lake, nice bathing opportunities, lots of salmon berries. Um, lots of nice green fresh grass to munch on. Oh shit, oh shit, that's a bear right there. Bear is munching on grass. So I guess the oh me is it a lot of the
Nyt se näki meitä. I think this is now he saw us maybe. Before we get to the fishing, I am very proud to show you these limited edition aluminum prints that I now have available. Here are just a few of them. These aluminum panels are very impressive, the ink is infused directly to the aluminum surface, which makes the colors and the contrast pop off beautifully. The surface is matte and has this elegant classic look that I really like. The panel itself comes ready to mount on your wall and doesn't need any framing. These prints here are only available until the end of the year. All of them are from a specific video episode, so there's a cool story behind them. So check out the store and maybe you'll find one from your favorite episode. There's also a print from this episode, a beautiful glacier texture in black and white that you'll see later in this video. These will make an impressive wall piece and getting one is also a great way to support the making of these videos. Click the link in the video or in the video description to check out the store. Good evening! Today evening I am fishing, if you can call it that. This is our spot here. And you can see I came in with the dinghy and the sea is over there. And if you look here long enough and carefully enough, you will see fish trying to get up the river. But they can't get up the river yet because it's blocked. Uh, you need a really high tide before they can get into the river there. So they're kind of, they're kind of stuck, stuck here and that's how we can snag them here. We have a bunch of uh, pink salmon running into the river and the lake here. So the way you get them in Alaska is by snagging. Uh, this is a highly debated fishing method and um, not a very sporting method you would say because what you basically do is you cast this out and then you jerk it in and you hope that you hit a salmon um, just somewhere on its body usually you hit them for some reason and they get attached at their back somewhere and then you just pull them to shore and dispatch them in alaska this is legal in most other pa countries in the world this is actually illegal I'll try to get one and uh, you'll, you'll see how it's, it's done and then you can make up your own mind. Since I'm sure that there are many internet armchair fishermen watching this, I just want to mention that I am fishing below the low tide line here. Snagging is only allowed in salt water, not in fresh water or rivers. And yes, I am well aware that this here is just some lowly pink salmon. We caught a lot of silver and red salmon as well, but only have these crappy photos to prove it. So this uh, spot here is very small, so I'll just cast out and then jerk it in and... Oh, <laughs> I actually have one. Um, I have one right here and they, I'm just gonna pull it to the shore. I do have a landing net with me as well, but uh, yeah, and you can see these salmon are fresh, they are still fighting hard and uh, I'm trying to land this one and you can see it's like fighting super hard and there we have one you can see that this one is beginning its transformation so once they get up into the rivers, they grow a big hump here and also the uh, head changes, they grow bigger teeth and so on. And once they go through their transformation, then the meat is not good anymore, it's not good to eat. Um, but if you catch them out in the sea or right at the beginning of the rivers, then they are still good. Some people are gonna say this is not ethical and uh, it does seem a little bit brutal of a way to catch a fish and definitely there's not much skill involved so you know if you're like a 
sports fisherman and if you are in it for the sport so to say then this is not the way really but we just want to catch something to um, can it so we're gonna pressure can this and it's gonna be good eating and I personally think that when I do it like this I land almost all of the fish that I snatch you know very very rarely uh, do they get away you pull them up the beach you dispatch of them it takes maybe less than 30 seconds total I think this is an all right method of um, getting fish to eat as at least if you compare it to buying commercially um, caught fish uh, the pink salmon the alaskans the locals don't really hold them in high regard this is the least sought after salmon um, they much prefer other types of salmon like the reds and the silvers but But these are really good, either smoked or pressure canned. Alright, I'm done for today. I think the fish have also left because the tide is going down. I do not fully understand how they keep moving in and out of these spots, but in any case, we have pink salmon. These are gonna make some really nice canned salmon for us. I'm not gonna go through the canning process here. There's plenty of tutorials for that online. But you can see that they are still bubbling because I just took them out of the pressure canner. And if you see some of this black stuff there, that's just some of the spices that I added. The good thing is that now these jars stay good in room temperature for at least a year. That's huge for us on our boat because we don't have a freezer. So that's enough with the salmon and here's some other fish that also ended up in the jars. Oh shit, okay, I have a big fish. Gonna be a cod or a halibut, I think. Yeah, it's a halibut. It's not huge, but uh, it's decent. It's decent. This is like uh, the perfect size for eating. I think we got something. Oh, yeah, it's a rockfish. <laughs> we now have a total of around 70 large jars of fish, including ling cod, cod, halibut, and red, silver, and pink salmon. So that is a small Pacific cod, and you can see how it's hooked onto the circle hook like that it's never getting off but enough about the fish let's look at gathering and preserving some berries come on there's so many here look come on look look And now we are, of course, going to turn them into alcohol. I mean, what else? What else did you expect? We have uh, some sugar and nagoon berries. On this one we have um, honey and nagoon berries. I just need to add some more. Then a bottle of uh, cheap-ish vodka. Now you just let these stand 
for a couple of months and you turn them every now and then, we'll report back in a couple of months. And yes, we are making some jam as well. Sohvi is the jam master. With us a little bit like Oh, sorry, he loved that. We have no idea what we are doing. Ten minutes later. They are ready. Preserving your own self-caught or self-gathered food is really satisfying and we'll be enjoying these throughout the winter. Mm. Mm. But now let's get back to our adventures. So we will try and reach the glacial lake or the glacial basin of this huge glacier over there i'm not sure how we are gonna get there there is a stream leading up to it but uh, we might have to hike bushwhack or maybe we take try to take the dinghy up but first we need to get into the stream with the dinghy if possible Yeah, that's a no-go with the dinghy, but there's white water in front of us. Whee! bear poop sighted well, I think it's bear poop it's kind of small though okay that is a bear poop just grass grass diet right now that's a vegetarian bear right there just munching on grass more poop more poop definitely a lot of bear poop here I find the bears are just a little bit rude though to be pooping in the middle of the path you could at least step aside a little bit. So rude. Okay, more bear poop. And this one I think has some... Uh, there's some berries. Salmon berries. Poop, 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 poop. I'm a bear and I poop everywhere. Bear track. You can kind of see the claws there almost. We saw a bear. <laughs> yeah, a black bear. And not even very far away. <laughs> he ran away. So I'm carrying bear spray as well, but it's conveniently located inside my backpack. Here, I think the problem is that the... Um, they use the same path. Yeah, they use the same path and the river is so close and it's making this kind of... A lot of this white nose noise, it's pretty loud. So they probably can't hear us very well, so uh, yeah, but as soon as the bear, you know, this, that when, when he saw us, he just kind of took off. But <clears throat> I have my bear spray as well now, 
and there's gonna be a hundred thousand comments saying that we should carry a gun and whatever but uh, we don't and there's plenty of locals as well that don't carry a firearm Wow! This scenery with the ice and all the green stuff is just uh, really something different Pidetäänkö tässä niin ensimmäinen evästauko? Thanks for watching and if you are interested in the aluminum prints, check the online store, there's also a print from the scene that you just saw. And if you are looking for another way to support the project, check out the Patreon page. See you again next time, bye bye.